Today I'd like to talk to you about this pen. A kind of interesting pen. One I've, this is the first time I've actually held one in my hands. Um, when I got this off of somebody else, it's not my pen. I'm uh, doing a bit of stub work on it, but he's let me do a video. I haven't stubbed it yet, so all this video is pre-work. Um, this is the Twisby Micarta. Um, I'll talk a bit more about the material of Micarta when I do the parts of the pen, but it's a kind of uh, linen or canvas or something like that infuse resin with that uh, they used to make knife handles or pens sometimes. Um, it's going to invite a lot of comparisons to the Lamy 2000 just in the shape which is similar as you can see. Um, it's much larger than Lamy 2000 but uh, likewise it's about the same. This is girthier. Um, and just uh, this is Macrolong, which is kind of the same idea as fiberglass. Um, this is Micarta, and it comes from Twisby. This is a clipless version. Um, Twisby is a very cool company based out of Taiwan. They are really responsive to the feedback they get from their clients. Um, they've been a manufacturing company for a long time. They do fountain pens now, and I'm actually a big fan. Some of their pens have some issues, but uh, overall, the price points are very reasonable. This is probably their most expensive pen, I think. Um, and even then, it's not insanely expensive in terms of pens. So what I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you the parts of the pen. I'm going to give this pen some ratings out of five. I'm going to read the design, the comfort, and the writing experience. Then I'm going to do a writing sample, and then it'll be done. So let's look at the parts of the pen. Okay, so these are the parts of the pen. Now to talk about the material of micarta. What micarta is, is kind of a, uh, it's been around since like 1910, I think it was invented, and what they use is either linen or canvas or some kind of, I guess, organic material, cotton, um, and then they add it to a resin or plastic that's heat set and creates a very durable plastic. They make a lot of uh, knife handles out of this because it's very strong, not brittle, lasts a long time. It's got an interesting look, um, and you can see if you look at the uh, almost like the texture here, you can see whatever material there is they've added to it. Um, I think it's very similar to the fiberglass macrolon that they use for uh, the Lamy 2000, and you'll see the comparison makes a lot of sense too. When you look at the pen, this has kind of a similar cigar that's had the end lopped off shape to it as a Lamy 2000. Now let's look at the cap. Cap is a decent size, has no clip this one. Um, I think this is a second generation micarta, I believe. I think there's some issues and they fixed it up, but this one doesn't have a clip. Um, it's got the Twisby logo um, kind of burnt into the top, which looks really nice. Um, and then down here, same way of putting it in, it says Twisby. And there's some stuff here I can't really read. It looks kind of like an E and a star and a squiggle. I'm not sure what that is about. Here's that's the cap. Now for the body of the pen, tapers down, no um, kind of roundedness, straight down, and polished. The feel of this is very nice, it's very smooth, almost feels like you're holding wood. Um, the weight's not too heavy, but it's not light in any way. Um, there's a step down here, it's not too severe, you have to hold your pen up pretty high to feel it. Then there's these threads, which are relatively smooth, still you're not, probably not going to hold it there. And then you have the section of the pen which is nice. It uh, tapers in, comes out a bit there. Uh, fits in the hand really nicely. You can you can uh, post it, but you don't need to. Yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Then we have the nib. This is a gold nib. I think it's gold, not gold plated. It's got some scroll work. Twisby logo. It says Twisby and it says EF for extra fine. It's an extra fine nib. Um, not the finest extra fine I've ever seen, but still not bad. Um, lots of threads here. I don't know if this can be made into an eyedropper. I actually imagine it probably could be, especially all those threads. I don't see any metal. This is this one solid piece. And it's just a regular standard cartridge converter to fill the pen. Lots of threads here. And then lots of threads there. And those are the parts of the pen. Okay, so those are the parts of the pen. Let's give this pen some ratings of 5. First thing I'm going to do is I'm rate the design. I'm going to give this pen a 4.5. I like the design. Um, 
Brown might not necessarily be my favorite color, but the fact that these are an interesting material, they're treating it almost like a turned wood. Um, the shape is very cool. I like that shape. Uh, cigar with the ends lopped off. Um, there's a lot of thought went into this, and I think the design is really nice. Um, so 4.5. As to um, the comfort of the pen, it is pretty good. I'm going to give it a 4 out of 5. Uh, nice girth to it. It's not too thin. Fits in my hand nicely. The weight's good. And even when it's posted, the weight is really good. The balance is really nice. As for writing experience, I'm going to give it a I give it a 4, which is, I'm tempted to do 3.5 because it's extra fine, but it's a pretty good extra fine. So I'm very comfortable giving it a 4. All in all, really cool pen. Um, if you're interested in it, you should definitely check it out. Um, I think they still make them. I'm actually not 100% certain about that. But yeah, great pen. So I'm going to do the writing sample now, and then we're done. All right, so let's do the writing sample. So this is the... Twisby Micarta. It's an extra fine nib. And the ink is Noodler's um, Black Swan English Roses. All right, so let's do some writing. The quick brown fox jumps over a lazy dog. Um, this is a very, this is an extra fine. It's not the finest extra fine, but nothing thick about it. Um, as far as extra fines go, it's actually relatively smooth. Um, extra fines I find tend to be a little scratchy or whatever. This is pretty nice. Um, Tuesby nibs I've always been impressed by. If this is a real gold, not just a gold plate, um, it's good. I don't find it any smoother than a steel Twisby nib, to tell you the truth, though. Um, my wife has some steel extra fine Twisby nibs, and they don't feel really any smoother. Um, let's see if it will keep up with us. So no uh, skips, no hard starts. Every time I touch it down, it's writing, which is nice. Um, so that's really good for wetness. I'm using a Lightsturm notebook, which I don't really find to be the best for fountain pens, I tell you the truth. I just had a handy. Um, paper's a little bit absorbent. It reminds me more of moleskin paper than, uh, say, Rhodia. But it's not bad. And... Uh, on a Rhodia paper, I find this. I imagine this is going to be a lot slicker, um, a longer drying time. But this, even here, is not bad. I can make a nice solid patch when I color with it, and it's still a little bit wet. Um, is there any flex to it? The tiniest little bit is not a flex pen, but you know you can squeeze out a little bit if you're desperate to. Uh, you can write in the back. You can, not very nice, and actually went a little bit dry there. So, but no, honestly, who would want to? Uh, yeah, so it seems to be doing pretty well. Don't mind this nib at all. The pen feels nice while I'm writing, which is good. Just gonna go back to my old standby of the doodles, which is multiple eyeballs. not a bad pen to write with. This uh, got a nice fine line. I can see cartooning with this with a nice black ink, honestly. So yeah, so that's the writing sample. Decent uh, decent pen, decent writer. So um, if you like this video, uh, feel free to hit the like button. You can subscribe. There's lots of uh, videos. There are more coming. 
Uh, I'm trying to get a little bit better at bringing them up a little more regularly, but you know, busy life. But until the, until the next time, thanks for watching. I'll see you later, and goodbye.